Feeling like I'm on the run Live every day just the same This rock star with no fame The way it is for everyone God knows that if I try I might be able to get by Get by as one of the normal ones But take me back home to Boston Back where I know where I belong Back where the days they seem the same For some hunk of food Well, the people, they turned away Yeah, they had nothing to say A man, I thought it was kind of new Maybe if I was their kin They might just let me in And put me in the right kind of mood Take me back home to Boston Back where I know where I belong Back with the days they seem the same And everyone knows your name Back where I know that I'm home saying is that Boston women are, on the whole, a paler, uglier sort than women from the elsewheres of life. That's bullshit. What about Lori? She's hot. No, Lori's from Pennsylvania. It's not a Boston girl. They're not that bad. See, the fact that you have to say they're not that bad means that they are that bad. Did you ever, did you ever hear a Boston girl have an orgasm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Had a, had a. Oh, God, that was so good. following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Coming to you live from Studio 5, high atop the Meadowbrook Building in Metro West, Massachusetts, it's the Wicked Pisses Show. Hello. Good evening. It is... I hear you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it is a little bit past 8 p.m. on the eastern seaboard here in Massachusetts. Uh, show number 68. Yeah, baby. And uh, it is the 10th of October. That's 10-10. 10-10. A good 10-10. 10-10-17. 10-10. I'll go with that. <laughs> uh, I'm Byron. I'm Bumper. And you are listening to the Wicked Business Show. Oh, yeah. That's right. we got quite a few topics tonight. we got got uh, 
We are bullshit free radio, but tonight we're going to talk about a little bit of bullshit. Oh, yeah, we like to, we like to, uh, I don't know, what would you say, like uh, BS a little. We're, we're not, we're, we're bullshit free, but we yeah, BS. We don't tolerate bullshit, but we shoot the shit. There you go, right? Yeah, shoot the shit. We shoot the shit. We shoot the shit. We shoot the shit, and then we uh, crucify bullshit. Hi, you're listening to the greatest radio station in the world. That's and, right. And now we also want to say hi to our friends in Poland. Oh, yeah, yeah we, we uh, get some listeners out in Poland. We're going to learn some Polish. Yeah, i can try something. Um, but, yeah, we are a big shout-out to the uh, Polish listeners. Uh, those numbers have gone up a little bit. Uh, as well as, you know, we have listeners everywhere. Um, we are worldwide, thanks to the Internet. Yeah. Um, we have listeners in Poland, uh, Ukraine, Russia, uh, Aruba, uh, a few others I can think of. Canada, obviously. Um, of course. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was a perfect thing to shout out, man. You're right about that. Uh, definitely a number that we saw, a nice like, spike. Um, so there's obviously more than one person in Poland listening to us. Either that or they're just listening to the same show over, over and, and over. over. Yeah. yeah. Dedication. We like that, yeah, too. Yeah, we do. do we, we love do. that loyalty. We enjoy that. Um, yeah. And we give a shout out to our boy Huber uh, from the Huber Experience, another show on Spreaker. Just give him a shout out. He gave a shout out for the show uh, on his show earlier, uh, in case you haven't caught that. Uh, it's only a 15 minute show uh, almost every day, I don't know, every other day. Uh, but on it is Spreaker. one of the funniest 15 minutes there is on Spreaker. Yeah. It's great for you. Know, you ride home, ride to work, whatever. Uh, he tells it like it is how, how it should be said anyway. And uh, Sure. Well, maybe you know, with or without the filter, you decide. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, he's pretty straightforward on shit. Yeah, we have uh, our friends, uh, late night Mister Ed. Yeah, he's coming up at ten p.m. Yeah. on the Eastern Seaboard. Uh, we will be on uh, p.m. In, in case of uh, you are listening, Ed, we will be off at ten. So uh, for most of you listening, uh, it was a two-hour show tonight. Uh, we're trying to scale back from a three-hour. Uh, as well, much as we love to sit here and shoot shit all night long. The snooze fest. Yeah, it becomes a snooze fest hour. after yeah. two, two and a half. So we're going to bring it back to two hours um, and stick with that. We'll try to anyway. Um, of course, if anyone calls in and provides us with some great content, we'll, we'll continue. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we are going to, uh, we pl- do plan to end at 10 o'clock tonight. And so you can uh, enjoy our friend, uh, late night Mr. Ed. Uh, he's always got some great, serious conversation, but with a lot of humor, too. And oh God, his I wife in the Jen's background there. is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she's usually there to add her Dude, two hold cents. Hold on a second. What's, what the hell's going on in the backyard? Ooh. I hate that noise. Freaking hell. <laughs> <laughs> it is October. Yeah, baby. Halloween's coming up. The Black Dog Radio Ooh. Show is all excited about that. Yeah. They're doing their ghost stories. and uh... Well, and that was the thing I brought up on a Facebook page. Do we want to do a costume contest? And I don't know. I mean, I, I think right now the answer is going to be no, uh, only because... I, it depends. I, if we're playing live at a, at a Halloween Well, party, not, not only the party, but, I mean, it's like I, I last year was good. We got... We get some good submissions, you know. Got a lot of participation. Right, yeah. but I mean, I you know, I'm not seeing. If, if I see the interest, I guess we should do it. You know, okay, if we see yeah. the interest, we'll do it. Uh, so, if you w- want to be part of the, if you want us to do a Halloween costume uh, contest, express so on our page. There's a question on there about it. Let us know you're interested. Uh, last year we gave away uh, T-shirts, gift cards. Yeah, um, this this year, yeah, it's going to be dollar store items, gift cards. For a dollar at yeah. the dollar store. And uh, I hope everyone's still with us. What happened? I don't know. I think... Uh, Did the computer just go to bed? No, no, no. no. Uh, Stand by, folks. Yeah, I think we're still on. No, they, I think my monitor just slept. Well, it flickered. It oh, okay. Went off and on. So. Only to punch it? Yeah, yeah, punch it in the back. Give it a donkey punch. There you go. <laughs> um... Uh. But yes, if you are interested in the costume contest, if you want a costume contest, if you're the type to dress up uh, for the trick or treaters, or you go to a party, or you're going to hold a party, um, that would be great. Also, have everyone in your party uh, take a picture, and if you show what we did last time, is if you showed a sign that said "Wicked Pizza Show" or on in each picture, whoever had the most entries, the host uh, would win something as well. Uh, so. 
Uh, you'll get gift cards this year since we don't have any T-shirts at the moment or shirts. Uh, we'll, we'll look at something for that soon. Uh, but also a shout-out to the Black Dog Radio Show. Uh, that group had a nice uh, participation in last year's contest. Oh, my God, they were... Contest. Yeah, everybody at right that party did it. I still enjoyed the proctologist. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if you don't listen to the Black Dog Radio Show, definitely you want to. They are you on should. every Friday night. Unlike us, we're on r- r- various random. days. Yeah, random days. Always 8 p.m. Just or random days. Around. So, around. Well, yeah, sometimes we might uh, follow a turning point at 9 o'clock. Or come on, uh, eight fifteen. Have uh, technical issues, but we've actually gotten better with that since we, we have, have. You know, we have a fixed uh, setup now, pretty much. Uh, and we've un- we- we've taken it apart and put it back together again. Yeah, yeah. Well, somewhat. Yeah, the board. Yeah, the board. The the biggest problem we've had was computer settings, which we don't really mess with much anymore, other than the Skype. But, because you get a desktop here. Yeah. So we leave that. That's nice. I'm running on laptop. Oh uh, yeah. Laptop, want to be laptop, and your tablet. So, um, well, you know. But like I said, the Black Dog Radio Show, let me uh, give them their shout there. Here, hold on one second. Taking the country by storm. The Black Dog Radio Show. Because once you go black, you never go back. Not true. Uh, yeah. Hey, where are the white women at? Stay on that one. Um, but yeah, that's a great show. Like I said, every Friday night they are on uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, you definitely want to catch them when you can. Oh yeah. So uh, I see, let's see uh, well, a turning point, obviously. Uh, you chase and Jen. They're on uh, tomorrow night. Yep, they're on Wednesday oh, no. nights. Are they on tomorrow night? Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Well, they're yeah. doing one Thursday. Oh, I don't. Know. They they got to get their shit straight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's Thursday or Wednesday. They no, they're, norm, they, they're normally a, scheduled night is Wednesday. There is a special show on Thursday. Okay, it's going to be uh, Chase's going away show. All oh, right, he's moving. Uh, he's moving yeah. south. Bong, bong, bala, bong, the, uh, bong, bong. Yeah, and uh, I'll be uh, co-hosting on that, along Excellent. with several dozen people. Apparently, oh, there you go. There's some sort of shindig going. Oh, on, big uh, bye bye until the night. The, the show the week after. And Tiger Lily is here. Uh oh. And she does believe that she's uh, smarter than a fifth um, She believes she's almost as smart. You be careful. Fifth, fifth almost. Uh, so, yeah, we will be playing that a little bit. Uh, are you as smart as a fifth grader? Uh, we get, I get some various questions. I don't know if you have any. But, um, but that's that. And I just wanted to get into shit. Like, there's so much stuff pissing me off right now. About uh, that'll keep Mr. Ed in the chat room. <laughs> hey, Ed, what's going on? Um, yeah, the, the, yeah, the NFL still pisses me off, and I know we talk about it a lot. It's well, been to talk, and you know, they, like you said, uh, they're all taking taking a knee to protest, whatever it is. I mean, before it was uh, uh, police brutality, now it's basically Trump in general. Um, or whatever the, the Again, soup, like, whatever the soup of the week is, is like, what they're yes, fucking like protesting. most protesters at what you call a protest, I call a riot. Yeah, uh, you stand out in the street, you shaking your fist. Ninety uh, percent of the people there are for their there for their own agenda. You're right. They they don't know what the fuck is going on. They're just also most of the guys out there, the guys who aren't lighting shit on fire, <laughs> are there trying to pick up chicks. Yeah. They want hairy armpit chicks. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Huh? Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Mo- just enough to, uh, to braid asshole, in the armpits. Uh, that who hung down that banner in, in Fenway Park? Yeah. That oh, asshole God, yeah. was looking to get laid. Oh, it, Guaranteed. And they just got kicked out. They should have been arrested and charged. You know? And yeah. because, you know, and so many will argue, you know, free speech and all that bullshit. There's no free speech at Fenway Park. Fenway Park is a private owned field, private property, and it's open to licensees, invitees only, invitees only, which means that, yeah, they had a ticket, they can go in there, but they have to, um, they still have to abide by the rules and regulations set forth by the team or the property owner, whatever it would be. So, no, they don't have the right to hang a banner of their fucking said statement or whatever it is, uh, that declaration of... uh, 
retardation, you know? <laughs> and again, when I say retard, retardation is not towards anyone. Down syndrome no, with no, disability. No, 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 no. It's, it's, Retards are idiots. Tards, is, okay? In Massachusetts, Retards we're are assholes. We call them retards. Right. And it's never towards someone who has a disability. No. It's towards someone who... Who, the only disability is they're stupid, and it's not a disability. Well, it's not like, like a disability. I, they're stupid, so that's why we call them retards. I guarantee in your neighborhood, it's, not a it's the same as in my neighborhood. When you're talking about someone you don't like, you know, don't be a fag. Yeah, right. And then, well, you say that today. It's like, oh my god! Oh, you yeah. start. I mean, right now you're, you're probably going to trigger a whole bunch of hate mail because oh, you're yeah. fagging on our show. Oh, you should um, put a warning trigger alert. Oh yeah, we will We're trigger done. that. Um, but yeah, you know that, that whole that Fenway thing drove me nuts. They should have been charged. They have no right to, um, to you know, hang up the banner or whatever. Yeah, Mister Red said uh, the dude with the banner wasn't trying to get a lady. He wanted to make sure his chick was gentle with the strap on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? Oh shit! Um, but you know the whole thing with the NFL, they're protesting whatever it is, whatever their protest of the day of the week is. Um, but yet, they don't protest. Thursday must be the uh, French fries in the locker room were cold. Yeah, right. They well, you know, there's there's a list. I I don't have it. I do have it somewhere. One of my uh, my uh, messages, but um, I have there's a list of players that have been in the past you know, year, season or two, been in legal trouble, and they're still playing. Oh, yeah. You know, well, whether they you know drunk driving, beating their wives, getting the fights with cops or at the bar, things like that. And they're still playing. They talk about social injustice that they, you know, the players are bitching about social injustice. Well, they were all pissed off that they got caught. And they, but the NFL players are arguing whatever, any whatever it is, you know. Again, some of them are arguing Trump in his politics. Some are arguing police brutality. Other, you know, whatever in general social injustices. But it's not an injustice that a player who is supposed to be an NFL player is supposed to be a role model. For people, it's okay for them to commit crimes and then still get to play in a, a, a lucrative job. You know, they, where's the social injustice? You know, or that, that is one. Yeah, you it's... know, you beat your wife, you still get to play football. But did you hear the newest news? NFL uh, is looking towards uh, making some sort of. Uh, they have a, a ruling on this. They want them all to stand. Yeah. They're, and they're gonna they're gonna come up with something. Well, because so they they are again it's, uh for they had a, the same problem last season because of Colin, Colin Kaepernick did the you know the kneeling. Yeah. It all started last year, and the ratings went down. Mm-hmm. This year, the ratings continue to go down because of it. Um, you know, will it die? No, it's not going to die. People will still watch, and people are still going to the bar to watch football. Whatever. It's the but, almighty advertising dollar. That's what matters. Well, that exactly because. That the national advertising is where they make the money, and so like I might still watch. Say I watch the Patriots. Okay, watch Patriots. But you know what? I'm not going to watch. Say the uh, the Seattle and Chiefs game. I don't want to. I'm not. I'm not going to support. No. To me, that's you know. I'll only. I'll support my local team. And even as much as I disagree with what they're doing, you know, I like the game. Period. So I'll, I'll still watch it. But I'm not watching the national games anymore. You know, I used to watch other teams too. And a lo- I know a lot of the boycotters, not really boycott, but that's what they're doing. They're watching less games, and that's where the that's why the ratings are going down. Well, Mr. Ed's going to take a knee when his tax bill is due. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, right. I would. Um, and so, I mean, that, that's just it, it pisses me off again that they they're fighting whatever inequality, but yet it's okay for an NFL player to commit a crime. To ruin the conduct of what it should be for a role model, um, and that my that's my biggest, I guess, tiff with the NFL and the teams is that they don't hold a standard of conduct for their players. No, any you know they most, never really have though. Yeah, most jobs though, and I know that that that's my whole point. Is they never the, have. They never had issues until the nineties, right? Well, All of a sudden. So, they just started. Well, yeah, I think I think before that. I no, mean, nah, it was before like the eighties. Cocaine was. Um, well, they. I mean, but they weren't out well, partying in Vegas. Michael and, Smith. Was, yeah, yeah. Now they weren't doing stupid shit. Yeah, I think they were. I think it was just it was covered better because now the, the they the weren't advent, doing it 
in in a massive venue, you know? I disagree, but no. I think the uh the advent of phones, the all the internet. video, the internet, all that stuff. So we're going to blame the internet. Well, think think about it seriously. You know, if it weren't for the internet, we wouldn't be here. The like that. Well, that that's long. a good point. But, you know, another thing to think about with that, though, is that, you know, um, people, they complain about all these things that are happening with police, police shootings, blah, blah, blah. You know, before the Internet, for, for here anyway, so, yeah, it's probably catching up. There's a little hiccup on the system here. Uh, the internet problems? Yeah, the internet. You notice that the TV's foggy. flashing, too, so. Well, sucking up all the different right. bandwidth here. I don't have to. You got everything room. going at once. With the no, I here. got nothing else running, man. Let's see what is. Yeah, hey, very good. Um, but yeah, you know, like I said, the the NFL, the fact that the players, you know, take the knee. I, I saw someone on Facebook arguing about it. It's a protest. Well, you know what? Protests after the national anthem. There's a few minutes before the game goes. Sure. Oh, we'll do that. Oh, well, no one will pay attention then. Well, nobody wants to, to right. pay I, attention to your but shit. But why are you imposing? Again, to me, protest, you know, quote, peaceful protest, yeah. is not imparting or, uh, you know, interfering on my ways. If you're interfering on my ways, you're interfering, uh, you know, same thing with the protest in the street. You're in the sidewalk. You're in the street. You're blocking traffic. You know, that's not a peaceful protest. You, it, it might not you're, not, you're not burning down buildings, don't get me wrong. It might not be, well, you might, in this particular case I'm talking about. Or you're not there yet. Right, you're not burning buildings yet. The, but the fact you're in the street is not a peaceful protest. I'm going to have to get two cars. <laughs> because. No, seriously, I'm going to get it like a like one of them rhino bumpers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah. It's, it, you're, anyone protests in the street, unless if the street was specifically closed off for you, in advance, with, by a, permit. Poli- with yeah. a permit, by police, anything else, you are not peaceful protest. Yeah. I, uh, like I said, you don't have to burn down a building to be a uh, unpeaceful protester. So you interfere with other people's way of life. You interfere with other people being able to go to work, to go to the train station, to get into the Seven Eleven, whatever the hell it would be. Then you're no longer peacefully protesting. You're, you, you know, you're blocking other people's, other people's rights. Like, just like you have the right. I'm going to protest protesters. Like, there you go, right? Yeah. We should just stand there, like, make a fucking brick wall. Yeah. It is, nope, you're going by me. Well, nope. But, you know, it just, it pisses me off that they. <laughs> I should just shout, my life matters. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I wear a mask or something yeah. like that stupid antique. Well, and it's not, you know, they, they argue, well, I'm like, well, what does that achieve? Oh, well, it, uh, it creates awareness because. Now you're going to be like, well, what the hell are they protesting about? Now, I'm like, you know, it doesn't. Like, I don't give a shit. I can't even keep up with people are protesting about it anymore. Yeah, well, There's so I mean, many. It's not. I don't know if they're not teaching kids what words are anymore. Now, I, I, <laughs> words. I, I, seriously, no. Well, they, yeah, that was another thing. When I was a kid, it was uh, sticks and stones that broke my bones, and names will never hurt me. Yeah. Uh, they didn't. They may be a little bit stronger. They may be uh, be able to to brush off shit. Yeah. And now when you know you go into work and somebody shits all over you, you're like, yeah, you're kind of right, you know. And then they're like, well, fuck you. <laughs> but uh, but it's it, it's it's gone on too long. Where I mean, these kids they think that uh, what, what were you saying that, that it's it's uh, it's drawing attention to the yeah. to the matter? No, no, it's it's being a pain in the ass. That's yeah. what they're doing. Right. They're not drawing attention. They're drawing attention to themselves because what? Mommy and daddy didn't give them enough attention. Yeah. I know a lot of these people who are protesting now were sent off to a mall with, with 50 bucks. Right, yeah. On, so, on the weekends. Yeah. So, so that mommy and daddy problem. could go clubbing <laughs> or do whatever the fuck they did. Yeah. But, you know, minivans worth of youths were well, deposited at local malls all over the country and no parents were caring for them. No. Well, the ones that, like you said, you know, doing for the, uh, for the attention, the awareness, blah, 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 whatever. Um, to me, that, that's bullshit because, if anything, it frustrates more people and minimizes the integrity of your your cause, your argument, whatever it is, because You're less and less okay people there? give a shit. You know, less yeah. and less people give a shit. If, if The more people you piss off, um, you know, the less value your argument becomes. You know, because 
you know, like like all the, the Trump riots during the election. You know, those people finally, even the people... Trump riots during the elections, fuck, they're happening now. Anytime well, right, it goes but, anywhere. But still, I mean, yeah, you know, but even people now, even people on the left are like, okay, you people are idiots, you need yeah. to stop. You know, so th- there is that. There is a group... Well, I mean, there's even worse, the... Uh, the Antifa, the, the no uh, Antifa, whatever the fuck it is. All know. right, so I got some homework for our listeners. You go to YouTube, look up Boston Antifa. What you you are going to see some videos and just go, I, um, you got to be shitting me. They're 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 living. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of it's kind of frightening seeing that. I mean, this is going to be the future. Yeah. These assholes wearing masks. They had an an AK four seven, uh, uh, not an AK forty seven, an AK four seven. Oh yeah, and an M one five. Yeah. Well, they, there was one. Uh, I don't know. One of the politicians that were talking. We'll go right into Vegas on this. Um, you know, the whole Vegas. Um, I don't know what do you want to call it? Tragedy. Tragedy. Uh, it was a fucking. The guy went bad shit, and yeah. But now you get all the nuts, the the gun nuts, the anti gun nuts come out, and whatever your stance on guns are, it's fine. But you need to educate yourself before you start talking about shit. You know, they pull out like a rifle that had a fucking grenade launcher attached to it, and oh. showed this is what he had. No, he didn't have the no, grenade. No, that was the, that was the bump stock. Right. No. That they were trying to show. And right. It was, this is the gun they, with a bump stock. All it was stock. was a collapsible stock. Yeah. And nothing. And I mean, they had yeah, they had the, the grenade launcher. They had yeah. the, the flash suppressor. In the exactly. Front. The guy had none of that. Shit. Because you know what the 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 plane gun isn't is scary oh, enough. No, it isn't. You know, so they have to show the gun with yeah, all all, these all the bells and whistles on it. Accoutrements. Yeah. You know. So, but you know, people saying that oh, you know, whatever five hundred shot, whatever how many shots were fired, one guy couldn't have done it. If you don't think Bullshit. one person couldn't have done that in say five minutes. Um, then you are highly uneducated. Uh, you watch vi- you can watch videos on YouTube of people blasting off hundreds of rounds in a, m- a minute. Go to know? a Dave and Buster's <laughs> and watch a little kid playing that uh, that, that game, the, the, the shooting game. They're exactly. firing thousands of rounds within five minutes. Yeah, and they're you know, shooting it. You know, as, as much of a it's a video game, but you know that's pretty much a rapid fire of. Uh, of a fully automatic, whatever is going on, you know, that's the same thing. So, you know, I think uneducated to say that, you know, security, they keep bitching about security that was lapse, obviously. Um, and then supposedly he ended up in Vegas earlier than on the 28th. So was there the whole a, timeline. Like a week and a half. Right. The whole timeline changes, then that security drops the ball. ball. No, because wherever he went, that, you know, point A, wherever he was, that's during point A, okay? Point D has no idea that he was at point A. And that's, that's what I'm trying to, you know, it's, oh, so he checked in to point D, the last point, on the 28th, or the Thursday or Friday, whatever it was. And then, you know, uh, it was a Sunday night, I think it was, Sunday night, Monday morning, I think it was late Sunday night, um, that it occurred. So then they, you know, everyone's bitching about how he checked in on the 28th and nobody detected him. What's there to, to detect? It's not like he just, yep, he armfuls of guns. He's walking through the fucking casino, going to the he elevator. He's been checked into that room for quite some time. He was uh, three, about four days, three yeah. or four days before. And he only lived 80 miles outside of Vegas. Uh, yeah, again. Go home, pick up a box, walk in there. Yep, but and no, nothing of in that is unusual. There are so many people that live in the Las Vegas area, the, the greater Vegas, you know, an hour, two hours away. That drive there and stay there because it's, like, it's so fucking cheap. That's like you and me going, although it's not that cheap, in Mohegan. No, it, and that, that's an, I was going to get to that, too. A very good point is, you know, we do the same thing here. Yeah. In New England, people will go down to Mohegan I or Foxwoods. I go down there for a couple of days with yeah. my buddy who's got a room. But the room's like three, four, five hundred 500 bucks. Yeah. Right? But Well, not if you're a high roller. Not if you're a high roller, comp, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right. But... You know what? You go to we know we go to Vegas, oh, yeah. get a room for forty, fifty bucks a night, and that's it. Twenty five bucks. Twenty, a night. Yeah, yeah. It depends what dump you stay I, at. I've been at New York, New York for yeah. twenty five bucks a night, and yeah. we've stayed at um, um, uh, the castle, yeah. Excalibur, Excalibur. Right? Thank We're you. both brain dead tonight. Huh? Other, uh, 
But yeah, uh, Excalibur, well, we same stayed. thing. Like 35 bucks yep. a night, I think. It went. Something one, like that. One year we went. So. And then yeah. what, it was it's 25 still, bucks over at uh, well, it, that's Hooters. Week, that's, that's the weekdays. It's, it's dirt cheap during a week. A weekend is like 59 bucks. Still not expensive. Right, you know, it bumps up. Right. But still dirt cheap. Yeah. And that's the thing. So it's no big deal for a guy to live an hour or two away and go and stay there for the weekend. Many not people do. Yeah. And we do that here in New England. Especially if, and now he was on the books on the, on the M. I listened to it live as it happened. And, uh, I mean, it, it, it was just finishing up. The chaos was still just yeah. running rampant. Uh, and I, I listened to the, I got a police scanner app on my phone. And all of a sudden it was like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? And I couldn't get on their feed right away, but I was persistent and kept on hitting to the yeah. point where I finally got the uh, an open line to a server. And you could hear in the background, just everybody screaming and yelling in the background. And it's, it's I don't know where I was going with that. I was listening to it. <laughs> I fucking just fuck. Oh, what the fuck was I talking about? I was listening talking to the, you to the, to the scanner. You finally yeah. got it. You hear the background, the noise. Uh, did you, what'd you hear? Oh, now? I heard about the uh, they they gave out uh, that woman's name, the Mary Lou. Oh yeah, yeah. Name. Little... It was on the M Life card that they found in the room next to the shooter's wallet, and yeah, these people. Uh, little known fact. They give away free rooms. Yeah. When you start to win, they're going to give you a room, get right. you off of the floor, and get you off balance, have you come back. And, for, and, you know, for a guy to go out to Vegas and stay there for a week or whatever, that's not going to trigger anything because it's not abnormal. It's a vacation spot. Um, and just because he's local doesn't mean shit. You know, the casinos are glad to have him. I'm sure they get plenty of people that go out there for a week or two I did, and spend money galore. I did hear... Uh, some of the casinos wiped him off of the books as far as being uh, in their high rollers lists. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Many of them did. That, you know, oh, yeah, like, oh, he was over here. Boom. Oh, yeah. fuck. What's Bad that guy's business? name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. He wasn't on our list. At oh, all. no. Uh, but, you know, he was a free, frequenter of Vegas. Yeah. Even his brother said that he gambled. He sued but the Bellagio. He was, he had, the guy had money. The guy had money. He wasn't hurting or anything like that. Oh. You know, he's a. Uh, Take care of his family and himself, whatever. Um, but again, you know, going back to the point where how did he get missed very easily? Because everything he did was not out of the ordinary, other than obviously the the, uh, the actual event itself. The Kelsey's in the in the chat room, and hey, she stays up, in Ken? hotel rooms to have sex. Yeah, right. And you know, and nobody's kicking her out. Yeah, and nobody's kicking her out. But. You know, like they say, oh, how do you get all those guns up there, all the ammunition? All those, all those guns, ammunition, two suitcases. Yeah, easily. Two suitcases or one big one. Or you a can bag. Get, yeah. I got a exactly. bag a lot in of, my room. A lot of people room. travel those, those giant uh, duffel Jeep bags. Bag, you know, the giant. On wheels, too, you know. That first bag that I brought up to Vegas, that yeah. first time, I was, they made me ca- uh, check it. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And then I never checked another bag again. I just brought a small bag with me. Well, you know, and some people might, you know, now say he did have like a military style, the shoulder bag, you know, the uh, that top-loading duffel bag, oh, right? yeah, military yeah, yeah. duffel bag. Say you had that, and I'd be like, oh, how did that go on? How did they not check that? Because you know what? They probably get hundreds of people like that through a week that travel with one of those. I've got a bag with, with the Moly system on it. Yeah. In my kitchen. I use yeah. it as a lunchbox, basically. I mean, so, it, military stuff is, is in style. Yeah, exactly. It's a style. A lot of people have them, the backpacks, yeah. everything. So now, oh, well, you, you know, they want to check everybody, you know, and then, um, you know, some people. We're bitching, oh, casinos, they need to have metal detectors at every door, every single one. First of all... So that, what, you can ch- choke, make choke points so that nobody would ever get in exactly. to the casino? Now, that, and that's, that's nothing. You're absolutely No kill. lighters allowed. You, you kill sorry, tourism sorry, in have, Vegas. I'm sorry, you're going to have to throw those lighters out. Right. Yeah, <laughs> so, oh, no, okay. Um, uh, it's, over three ounce, it's over three ounces. Yeah. Car keys. You leave that beer out there. You have to buy beer in here. Car keys you, could be used as a weapon. No, nope, yeah. sorry, can't let you in with car keys. It, uh, and I, like I said, it would just kill tourism in Vegas because it's Las, such. A lot of those casinos are connected or free flowing, you know. So, Las it, Vegas is one of the most secure environments yeah. in the United States as that, far as uh, surveillance 
and uh, uh, protect uh, and in response. Yeah. So if something happens, something no matter where you are, when you are, it something is going to be able to start. Yeah. It depends on the response that happens right afterwards. And Vegas PD was right on top of that. What fifteen minutes they found him. Actually, it was the um, security guard who found him first. Right. They let. Uh, Vegas PD was on scene in less than three minutes. Right, people still bitch. They took too long to get to, to oh, the yeah. scene. They bitched, and yeah, within uh, it was like just over five minutes. The guy neutralized, whatever you want to call it. It was stopped yeah. um, because yeah, security guard located yeah. the room. But I mean, seriously, um, I, I I caught after he was all I heard was he, uh, the shooter is down. And there were still people running all over. On TV, it was just Oh, yeah. My dad chaos. was complete chaos. A man was people stampeding and over each other. It was, it's unfortunate that... But a lot, I do have to give it up to the people who, who did stick around. And uh, there, there, there are dozens of videos out there that show a lot of heroic people out there who stepped out of their normal yeah. life. And But many of them were... Off-duty cops, firefighters, paramedics, uh, veterans, active duty. I mean, it's a big hotspot for for that type of a crowd. Yeah, and uh, it, it just was amazing that 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 they were able to be helped out. Hmm. Um, like Lori Bernier's uh, daughter got out with yep. the help of a, of her friend who's LAPD. Um, and late night with Miss Dredd said so the amount of conspiracy BS coming out is nuts. Oh, uh, don't even get me started. They're saying it's an inside job with multiple shooters uh, from multiple floors with the assistance. And that right, that, that's where I minions. go. Back, <laughs> and that's where I go back to. They're uneducated. You know, they they think there's no way this guy could do it by himself. And you know, the discussion on there was anywhere from uh, what, like 11 to 15 AR-15, right, oh, yeah. or similar type guns he had. Okay, now. I think he used each gun once. Each gun was fully loaded. Each gun was fully loaded, and he just went from one to the next. And the reason why I believe that because the rapid fire would cause the barrel to oh, overheat. To yeah. So what he does, if I got unloads whatever fifty rounds out of one, what how, how, what it depends what it, I don't know what could he had for for Man, mags. So. He um, probably had twenty five round mags. Easily, boom! You know, go and through it. Switch a mag. You, you get what three mags out of. Uh, Oh, he could have. He, a fire. lot of them will do, you know, flip them, you know, do the tape them, right, flip he, them he over. Right, but about three mags before the gun starts to jam. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking he, he's doing a double mag thing, flip it, right. next gun. Next gun. And that, that's with, quote, the break, the longer breaks are. There's the reload, right. but the longer breaks would be from like switching guns. <laughs> so um, <laughs> he, you know, just switching gun to gun to gun. That's how he did it easily. Yeah. There is no way well, he... Well, that, and then he moved... To the other window. Yeah. He had a hammer. He, I mean, he really planned this out. It doesn't, you know, people say, oh, well, how did, uh, what was it? How, how did he get the window out? It's tornado proof. Yes, tornado proof, not hammer proof. Not hammer proof. proof. Not bullet proof. No. You know, he could have shot the window out if he wanted. Yeah. But that would have gave up his location quicker. Right away, yeah. So the smashing, the loud music outside, the smashing, and not going to be noticeable. Like maybe other... inside a little bit, but, you know, nobody's really going to think anything. So I'm going to, I'm going to say something here that's, it's going to, May attract attention to us <gasps> if anybody's listening. Uh, let's see if I can get this ready here. I'll open that up. And okay, so I want to take on the guys at InfoWars. <gasps> they have been running 24 7 with this bullshit that they were. Let me see if I can get that guy's voice right. There are 24, uh, you know, the, the 34 guys that were running around uh, saying they were Navy SEALs. Oh, yeah. And that they were, uh... I mean, I don't even know the name of the assholes on InfoWars, <laughs> but that's that's what he sounds like. And he's just going on and on and on saying how the, um... How there's there's no way that he was a lone gunman. This is a government conspiracy, and the police were uh, were inept in doing their job, and they're high. They're covering up. Uh, this is a plot by the uh, by the uh, Illuminati. And yeah. I, I'm like, you've got to be shitting me. It they, all they do is they go on and on, and they and now they've got other videos. There's a cab driver who was driving out of the Mandalay Bay thing while it was going on. You could hear the gunshots in the background. And 
they're trying to say that there was a shooter on the fourth floor, too, causing a crossfire situation. Do the... You're watching way too much fucking TV, people. <laughs> you just, it's not, lo- I know, I know. They're all scrambling and, and trying to wrap yeah. their, their their fuzzy little uh, never-been-harmed-by-words heads around Snowflake the fact yeah. that one person can do that much damage. It's oh. But they can, and they do. And we don't even hear about three-quarters of the shit that goes on all over the world. There are people in other countries who are doing similar shit. But we're not hearing about it because you know, it didn't happen in the U.S., you know, yeah. Un- unless it involves somebody from the U.S. Then well, exactly. Sudden, and, you know, that's a perfect example, too, is in other countries, this does happen. And some of those other countries already have much stricter gun laws. Oh, my God. You can't even possess yeah, guns. Yeah, you can't even possess it. I mean, yeah, they, they have to be smuggled in the country to begin yeah. with. And... They still happens. You can't. Whatever these, you know, the, the politicians decide to do, not going to change anything. If somebody wants to pull this shit off, they it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. We, we got to go back to bottles. It just, it just doesn't sound cool. Uh, like the glass and clink. Yeah, the glass of, clink of is just better. And that sound but, means time for another beer. Ding dong. Oh. Uh, oh, and to go back to. Uh, to uh, uneducated people. Yeah. One of the most uneducated people, I believe, on the planet, Hillary Clinton. Oh. You hear what she tweeted? Silencer. Imagine the deaths if the shooter had a silencer, which the NRA wants to make easier to get. You do understand a silencer just doesn't do much at all. No. And it wouldn't change anything because still in this particular event, with the music going, people thought it was fireworks anyway. So they they didn't even pick up the gunshots originally until bodies started dropping. Right. I mean, so if got hit in the head, and that I mean, if we a, had the movie style silencers that Hillary's dreaming about, right? Pop, like pop. A, a silent but deadly fart. Right. You know. Still, once bodies start to drop, panic is going to set in. Nothing would have changed that. No. And, you know, forgive me for using this particular uh, statement, but it was shooting fish in a barrel, okay? You had 18, you know, it's like 23,000 people. At least 18,000 were packed, centered in, because everyone wants to get the best view, right? So you got 18,000 packed in shoulder to shoulder. Point and shoot, folks. That's all it takes. One bullet was no could have aim. gone through two people. Exactly. Especially that's coming a good out point of too. like an M15 M- yeah. or, or AR15 or yeah. whatever the fuck they oh, yeah. had. Go to two or three people before oh, yeah. it stops. And so, and that's a great point, too. But, you know, people don't, they don't think. And like I said, it, 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 I hate to use that term, but it's shooting fish in a barrel. Everyone's right there. Pull the trigger. And, you know, it was multiple shots until people figured out, shit, people are dropping left and right, and those aren't firecrackers, those are, those are gunshots. Yep. Then panic kicked in. But even by then, you know, every the, the, the pool is still very centered. People are scrambling all directions. Just aim in that direction, and you're going to hit something, yep. you know? So that's why the guy does not have to be a marksman. He just has to point the gun in that direction. It's going to hit somebody. And... You know, the people always 500 yards away. Again, does not have to be a sharpshooter. Point, shoot. That's it. You don't need, you know. And then as people scrambled, the bodies were less and less. But, I mean, people were still dropping. But as, as they scrambled, and they, they became moving targets opposed to As the target-rich target. environment became less rich, yeah. the, the casualties did, it became less uh, fatal at that point because it was tougher to hit. Yeah, right. You're right. Exactly. That's your exactly. It. There's a throng of people right in front of the stage, and now the guy. First, the guy just is just. Oh yeah, bang, at bang, random. Right at random, is just pointing that to, way, and you can easily take out fifty people with. Yeah. Uh, what, well, especially if it's you know he's, forty he, bullets. Yeah. Because it, you're getting and he's got it on automatic, you know. And so. It, oh it, no, that's the evil bump stock that. Uh, uh, oh yeah, if the bump stock killed everybody. Be careful; everybody. they may outlaw bumpers next. Uh, um, but <laughs> sorry, the you know it's a simple point and shoot. By the time, um, you know, people pick up on it. Like I said, there's bodies down, people are injured, screaming. 
you know, with 50, I think it ended up being 57 were uh, killed. Is that what it is now? Yeah, it was 59, but 57, I don't know, 59, 57, whatever it would be. Sad, either way, 500 plus were injured. More, more than half were, you know, gunshot wounds, and then others you know, being trampled on trampled, ankles. Trampled, tripped over injured. a yeah. fence. Yeah. Uh, a lot of injuries from just panic. Uh, yeah. But again, it's it, and that's another thing. You know, a lot of people are injured just from the panic. Yep. From all you know, so a couple hundred are just because the people are trampling over each other during chaos. The herd mentality sets in, and people run out. Yeah. Now the the next thing on the uh, oh, let's see, someone said that the uh, let's see, someone tried to say the shooter was too far for the max range to be effective. Uh, no. Oh no. Yeah. What do you mean, Matt? It's across the fucking street. Yeah. Uh, I, I would agree with you if he was using, say... A forty five. No, a, a thirty eight. Yeah, a thirty eight handgun. It's you know? still going to be lethal at that yeah. distance. A handgun. It's probably still, like I like said, lethal. Talking up in moment. You know, we got to talk momentum here. You know, um, yeah, it, you know, it'll start to arch. It won't be a perfect straight shot. Uh, but like I said, all together, you but don't, if you're in, he wasn't doing a straight if shot. You're he was point and shoot. Yeah, if you're an experienced shooter and no, hey, you can make up physics, for the wind of this yeah. and that. Oh, yeah, and you know, if he was an experienced shooter, there'd be hundreds dead. Yep, hundreds, and uh, that's the sort of thing we should be it, well, thankful he, that he was not a. Apparently, he was an experienced shooter. He just was going at random, and he wasn't. Well, yeah, yeah. Obviously, he knew what he was doing. He was a gun owner. He had well, handguns at home. I mean, how long did uh, he had a lot more than handguns oh. at home? He had a bunch of other rifles at home. So I don't know if he, had, yeah, but I think that the family only knew of handguns. He right. had, so I think that this is a, a, a probably a recent. Yeah, apparently, supply. now the news. This is another thing that really pisses me off is the news media that we're supposed to trust is out there saying, "Well, he's been stockpiling weapons for years." Okay. Uh, does that mean I've been stockpiling uh, firearms right, for yeah. years, uh, dude? I have what? How many handguns do I have? Enough. Is is that called stockpiling? I, no, I know. I, I know people. You probably know people that have hundreds of guns. Yes, and I know a guy who's got a, a friggin' safe in yeah. his living room that's the size of a refrigerator. Yeah, there are guy people that own hundreds of guns simply because they're collectors. Mm-hmm. They like guns, whatever. Um, you know, they some people not uh, jobs, not <laughs> jobs, <laughs> right? Nut jobs are undetected. And yeah. that's another thing. You know, people go into that, well, we need mental health checks for gun licenses. Well, well, in Massachusetts, we already do that. But, you know, the feds, the feds dropped that whole thing. So they complain, they, they're bitching that that's Trump's fault because they no longer require it. Well, that's a federal, federal standard. It's still a state, in Massachusetts, it's still a state standard. If you're fucking nuts, you can't get a gun. Massachusetts it's, is probably the most. Stringent gun laws. It is, and yet so fucking easy. Uh, to me, I have no... Jump through the hoops. I have no problem with the hoops in Massachusetts. No. And I, I think the gun laws in Massachusetts would be a perfect um, model, for the, model for the country. And, you know, we, we are pro-gun guys. You know, it's a simple process. You know, and I you can like go... I don't like the fees associated yeah, with it. Yeah, it's a little pricey for people, a hundred bucks or whatever. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, once you have your, that LTC, we call it, license to carry, you go to the store, go shopping, buy your gun, and you go home with it. That's it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no wait period. There's no nothing. People talk about, oh, there's a, you know, whatever, 10-day wait period in some states or whatever. No, I never whatever. understood that. That's just fucked up. So some have, yeah, a 10-day wait period. If, now, you the know, thing they, is, they file it, and if you don't come back with a, you're not a felony, a felon, you can get it. I find it really odd. We, we have three states uh, two states that border us, one that's in our region, that have no gun laws. Yeah. New Hampshire, uh, Maine, and Vermont. Yeah. All of them. No real gun laws. Live free or die. They don't yeah. have anything. You just go up get a gun. Yeah. Anybody can carry. The The only law is the one in the books as far as you can be a convicted felon and carry a gun. Oh, yeah. But that, that's on the individual. But, but acquiring a handgun for illegal... Resident of the United yeah. States of America, who I, I mean, I, I don't get it. No, yeah. so but again, to me, the, the reason why I'm I'm okay with our license process is because you get the LTC if you have this card in hand. It's a license to carry. Yep, if you have this license to carry in hand, it says 
you are not a criminal because if you were, they get suspended or revoked. Exactly. Um, same thing. You're not nuts because otherwise it will be suspended or revoked. You don't have any restraining orders. Otherwise, it will be suspended or revoked. Yep. And when you go to the store, you present it. They will run that license number and find out the status of it. So people can't buck the system, so to speak. Yeah, there's no... Uh... Once it's suspended, it's suspended. But that's it. It's, it's simple. You present this card, your ID. Boom, I want a gun. Okay, you buy the gun. That's it. Yep. There's no so, you know you're already basically you're, it's like being pre-qualified for a loan. Pretty you're much. pre-qualified to buy a gun. Uh, you will draw it like you said, jump through a couple of hoops, yep. and that's it. Nobody bothers you ever again because you just renew it like nothing. Yep. It's a simple process. As long as you didn't get in any trouble, they'll check it again, make sure you didn't get in trouble. But that's it. Uh, Kelsey, they do have Hello Kitty guns. They also oh, have yeah. uh, Tiffany guns. Oh uh, yeah, they are um, like a green and a little green. green a little I, I actually like that. That's, That's a, a good looking, looking one. Gun. Yeah. And there are plenty of pink clocks out there also. Yep. Yeah. Which uh, drove people nuts in the early 2000s was when they came out with, with uh, the AR-15s that they were selling that looked like super soakers. They had orange and paint yeah. splash all over them. Like, oh, uh, look out. Tiger, yeah, there is a photo on the LTC. Everyone's... It's, it's a really shitty photo. It's a, uh, yeah. But it's a card. The card is now similar to, like, a license as far as the material. Uh, very much the same type. Do um, you have beer? Yeah, please. Oh. And, uh, you know, so I, my argument with this gun process is, at least in Massachusetts, it is a very simple process. Some people don't like the fact you have to, you have to apply for it and wait. But that's only the, the first time. Once you get it, you have it. Okay, and you got to get it renewed every so often, and I think it's changed and like twenty you years now. Once renew it with, it's the, and they bumped up the years on it. But. Yeah, but once you once you uh, right Ren- renew it, yeah, you can carry on your expired license until the state finally catches right. up with itself yeah. and issues. Uh, as long as you put in your application for renewal, you're good. So, and and it's it's a very simple uh, process. There's no wait, no nothing. You still you still go out and buy a gun, no problem. Still go yeah. out and buy a gun. So see, <laughs> that's Bumpa's uh, advice. Go out and buy. Yeah, a gun. Exactly. Go out and buy a goddamn gun. I don't have a problem with it. You want to yeah. carry, carry. And you know, I, and we do buy have a good now system. before before the you know the leftists say it otherwise. We do have a good system with the uh, Department of Mental Health. Yeah. When that goes in, that raises flags. Right. And they're unable. And to- it's not even though that that's not really a hundred percent because you can go to some private hospital and get mm-hmm. checked out for going batshit crazy, and you don't quite you won't make it into the DMH, the Department of Mental Health database. But, you know, I mean, that's the one time maybe you had a bad day This or is for people who are truly... Uh, demented. Yeah, are truly demented. That truly should not be uh, carrying yeah, a gun. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. a little strong uh, for it, but, you know. Right. But, um, but that's why, I, that's, again, that's why I like our process. And I think it's a good model for the country. And some people might bitch about that because, again, why do I have to wait to get a gun? You know, it's just a simple process that says I'm not fucking nuts. But you're I am not, not a criminal. For a gun, right? You, well, you, yeah, it's, it, as you said, pre-approval. Right, like, it could, because before that, you could, you're not supposed to buy a gun anyway. Yeah, you know? I, I'm. Um, I'm, I'm I, and it, like, uh, yeah, exactly. It's a pre-approval. You get it done. You wait a few weeks to get it, a month or two to get your license. Um, but and that's it. It's, and then it's a done process. Every time you go shopping there on after, you go buy a gun. Yeah. Here's my car. Give me a gun. Here's my car. Give me a gun. gun Here's show. my car. Give me. Yep. Exactly. Gun shows. Here you go. In my that's, car. That's, gun. that's what's so dangerous for me, are gun shows. Oh, yeah. You like it. I want to see. You find I a want, good I deal. Buy, Boom. Yeah, I know, there you go. Yeah. Oh, no, it's like I, 150 I just, less in the store. Boom. There you go. Know, talk about buyer's remorse. I go walking out of a place going, oh, fuck, I'm Fire, I can't believe I spent all this. I'm going to eat bologna for but the But I do. Week. I mean, I, I exercise my right. I carry regularly. And uh, yeah. I feel safer, and I'm sure. Uh, but I also train, too. Well, I go out thing. shooting regularly and, and right, and you know what? That's another thing. Shoot, don't shoot. Kind of another exercise. thing about our licensing process requires you to have at least basic firearm safety, mm-hmm. which you know, the handling of a gun, which many people need. Otherwise, you're going to get, you know, old man Bob or old lady Mary going to get get a gun, and they're going to shoot themselves in the fucking foot or the leg because they don't know how to handle. They don't even know how to hold the fucking thing. Yeah. All right, so that. Is a, a good thing about our process. Otherwise, you know, if you go, to, like you said, another state has no, you, you're, you're over 21 and go buy a gun. Okay, so I go you up. You want a gun? Sure. Okay, here you go. Yeah, 
That to me, that's ridiculous. Wait, you're not a terrorist or mentally defective, are you? No, no, I'm of not. course not. I check okay, it out. Okay, there you go. And if if they're not doing any checks, right? Not, if they're not doing any checks, see you go. Yeah, okay, and then go, you're, down, you're a convicted felon. You're just going to go fucking rob a bank twenty minutes later. Tiger Lily would feel safe with us. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I I strongly disagree with the no process states. Mm. There has to be something. As 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 nice as it is to just go in and buy it, we can do that after you jump through the hoop. There's another issue I have with uh, uh, certain states. The open carry law. Yeah. It's like advertising saying, somebody fuck with me. Yeah. They, for whatever reason, and I, I, don't, I don't understand the mindset of this either, no. is why do some states prefer people to open carry versus concealed carry? I, I in Massachusetts, it's you know a Preferred lot of states. Right, concealed. a lot of states have you have to open carry unless you have a concealed carry weapons permit, which is fucking ridiculous. Because okay, you have to let everyone know you have a gun, because that's going to set off people are going to get nervous. You go and they buy a pizza, <laughs> get your beer, you know, all that shit. People, are, oh my god, is he, is he here to rob the place? Right, for the most part. Some of the people you see carrying, I mean, that you don't see carrying firearms. Yeah, a guy in a business suit, you know, it, it's it's not it's sketchy looking people. Right. If you if you have enough money to buy a gun, yep, you're you're doing okay. Exactly. Uh, uh, you're buying a street gun. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, if you're buying a street gun for a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, you know, then two hundred. I mean, shit, fifty. I don't know. Like fifty because they don't. Even, yeah, because you don't even show the fucking thing fires. Um, See, Mister Ed has uh, open carry there. The problem with that is, is in certain areas of the country, like where we are, we have some of the biggest fuzzy heads on the planet. These people are terrified of their own fucking shadow. In in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, before you shoot somebody who has entered your home illegally and is coming to rob you and possibly harm you, you have to all but jump out of your fucking window yeah. and let the guy run away with all your shit. Yeah, it has to be literally last, no option. Yeah. You have no other option. That's why I but live to, on the third floor. There's <laughs> no other option. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, Massachusetts is none of that stand your ground stand your or ground, your castle, no castle doctrine. doctrine, nothing like that. Um, yeah. And then on top of it, if the guy survives, he can sue you. Yeah, he can sue you in any state, though. Even then, they, you know, they, they, the those doctrines. And yeah, the, but in Massachusetts, those, you've got a far better chance of winning if you're the criminal. Oh yeah, people are like, oh my god, he, he's a gun owner. Mm-hmm. Well, we have we must penalize him for that. Are you shitting me? Get yeah. the fuck out! But we, then you have. The people with the open carry, like up in Maine, they yeah. have open carry. Well, they got all carry now. Yeah. But uh, they have open carry. And this, I was watching on uh, on YouTube, and this retarded kid, wicked retarded kid, walking down the street. He's got his phone. Now, anytime you see anybody yeah. with their phone and they're talking into the... They're just waiting yeah, for right now. They're waiting for somebody to call the police on them. And the kid looks sketchy as fuck. Yeah. I... Would have and just pace them back and forth with a rifle. Yeah. Or, yeah, you're not you're not doing anything. Yeah, you're right. Elio has every right to stop and question you briefly to ensure you're not a felon. That's that's exactly it. But then this little asshole here is like, uh, what, what's funny is that the, the title on it was a uh, uh, schooled on uh, police schooled on open carry. Yeah, no, there was a cop who came up. There's like three cops who showed up. After the guy says he's not, he's failing to ID himself. It was during the daytime, so I guess they don't have to yeah. identify themselves. Uh, and he uh, he schooled him on uh, open carry. <laughs> no, it was the cop who showed up who knew the asshole. He said, oh, this fucking idiot again. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's he's fine. He's got a permit. And right. This is when they were doing permits up there. Uh, and he can open, you know, it's open carry. But the thing is, people still... We we still have the, the the flock sheeple, a flock mentality. People get upset when they see something that they're not used to. Uh, people are afraid to touch a gun because they're afraid it might go off. Yeah, it's not going to go off unless you pull the trigger. Right. It's just again, well, facts I, you physics. know, the guy like you said, he walking back and forth on the street, waiting yeah. for the cops to show up, wait for someone to call the cop. Again, is doing nothing but to create alarm. Right. Trying to generate alarm so that someone calls the cops. You know, the open carry, he's doing it for no 
No legitimate purpose. Hey, JP. Oh. JP just checked in. JP, what's up? Zamet? JP, Zamet. Oh, Zamet. I sometimes find myself saying, I, I God damn it. Damn it, Zamet's here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But yeah, you know, I mean, I'm not necessarily like a, a gun nut. I mean, I'm pro gun. Yeah. Because I, you know, I do own some. Um, I don't carry all the time, but, you know, a lot of the time, and I'll keep you people in the. In the dark on that. <laughs> Find out when I'd be carrying and not carrying the See, hard You just don't way, even so. know when he's excited or if he's got a gun in him. That's right. Or he could be excited because he has a gun. Find on out him. the hard way, son. Ooh, you said hard. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's that. I know I, I had a chime in on the NFL, and uh, that's, you know, the protest shit just goes right into the, the Vegas idiots and. Let me jump onto the NFL thing real real quick with you, ahead, because you went back yeah. there. Uh, when NFL players protested the anthem at the uh, at the 49ers Colts game, I don't know, but anyways, uh, he went to the game on Sunday and then just abruptly left. Yep, good. And they started with that bullshit with their kneeling and fist up in the air, and and uh, Pence on his Twitter account said. Uh, Let's see. I left today's Colts game because uh, at POTUS and I will not dignify any event that disrespects our soldiers, our flag, or our national anthem. I think that was pretty good of him. Uh, Pence also added it, 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 it's, a, it's a protest that divides the U.S. at a time when we should all be united. Yep. Um, he made it clear that players can have their own opinions, but uh, National Anthem gives Americans a, a chance to honor the country and the American flag. I think everybody's putting a, lo- a lot of... Uh, I mean, the flag is important. It's a symbol of of, of our nation. Yeah. Um, and I don't, everybody, everybody does say that you know soldiers have died over our flag. No, they've died over service to our country. Um, the flag just happens to be... An inspirational it's a symbol. It's an inspirational country. symbol. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, it, it just kind of it pisses me off. That, 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 well, that. It, it, the the protesting pisses me off. The flag simply because the flag is a symbol of the freedom and liberty that lets them get down to the knees in on you know the protest. And you're right. I mean. Legally, they they are within their legal rights in a public forum, in a public place, not you know, or at home. Uh, yeah, they they can do that. But you can kneel all you want at yeah. home. And my biggest argument is that the NFL or individual teams and stadium are a private enterprise, and they are employers, and the players are employees contracted and are subject to the employer's policies. And the employers, the NFL and the teams, refuse to enforce the rules that are already the same. Oh, no, they be... do, but since there is no actual real rule at the moment about, yeah, about standing up, there's, there's, no, there's nothing that... Uh, they have them, they think... They've never had this, this issue before, so it was, it's like a policy and procedure when... Somebody fucks up really badly and like, I yeah. don't know, drops a cherry bomb down a toilet. <laughs> you don't, you don't have a policy or procedure for that. What do you do to that employee? Right. Well, I mean, obviously you fire him, but do you do you build them for the plumbing yeah. work after it blows up? But and that's what I'm saying is, it, it, I don't understand. Like, I, I'm more pissy at the individual teams than the league because I think the teams just seem to say, "Yep, you will stand up, rip them into shape, and say, listen, or you take a knee, you're not playing." Yeah. And I, like I said before, you don't have to, you know, if you don't want, you want to put your hand on your chest, that's fine. You know, don't you have, don't have to. to. You don't have to sing it. Don't have to do nothing. All right, just you. You could be looking around, checking things out. Just don't, you know, like, like I said, disrespect the yeah. process. Don't. And by kneeling, you are, you know, in, to do with something, any activity in protest of what is happening, is disrespectful. And that's, I guess, what, what kind of gripes me the most is that the employers, the teams, will not simply make a policy and say, as a role model football player, you are a role model. Whether you believe it or not, 
NFL players, NBA players, MLB, baseball players, hockey players are role models because so many children are fans of the of, of these sports. And, and they, they idolize look, these idiots. They are, exactly. So they are role models, they, whether they see it or not. And that's why the teams need to have a standard of conduct that includes the national anthem. And if you fail this code of conduct, but that also includes the drunk, the drunk driving, beating your wives, uh, and all those, you know, beaten dogs and going to prison for it, should not be back in the NFL. That's fucking disgusting. You know, like how Mike Vick got back in the NFL. Well, major, but you know, oh, it, that's a lot of shit. Yeah, well, everyone, you know, protested for like fucking three weeks and that was it, you know. But, you know, oh, it's okay if, if a guy kills dogs. It's okay if a guy beats his wife regularly and knocks her unconscious on the elevator and drags her to the oh, car. Like that disgusted me. Absolutely and, but, disgusted me. No, it, it's okay. We'll put him right back into play in a few weeks and that's it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so nobody protests that. Nobody protests, you know, uh, domestic violence. Nobody protests uh, people getting killed by drunk driving. Nope. Burger flippers that are not getting 15 bucks an hour. Yeah. And the the Dallas offensive line coach who's just snorting a Coke. Oh, yeah. Right? Nobody's Nobody's against against drugs. Drugs, yeah. Right? I mean, of all all the people dying of uh, the various addictions and overdoses, there's no protest there? Oh, no, no. What, What we're protesting is we don't like Trump. Or we don't like the cops, or whatever it is for that particular soup week. Boom, you know that fl- soup flavor. Who? There are a lot of things I don't like. You don't see me running around the street like my hair's on fire. Yeah. So the players that take a knee to me are whiny bitches. Mm-hmm. That's how I look at it. Not even being like disrespectful. It's simply whiny bitches. Some of them, I think, I do, but I do think some of them are more or less pressured into it by their, you know, by other players because some I don't, I don't think would. I don't think all of them, and all of them don't kneel. You know, there's a lot of them that still stand, but I, you see more and more, well, more and more kneeling. But I think it's more or less because, you know, they they getting that peer pressure. You know, take a knee with us. Take a knee. Oh, you told me you like uh, Trump, or you like uh, this happening here. You know, whatever your fucking argument is, pick it for the week and stand by it. Stick by it. <laughs> if not, go shit yourself. Week, yeah. Oh, but that's that for that. But and you know, I got to go on baseball though. Baseball, oh, shit. real quick, real quick. Um, I saw people bitching because the the Red Sox lost, the Red Sox lost in their playoffs. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, they got their asses and, kicked. They, yeah. they just didn't come to the game. Right, and you know it, it happens. We, you know, we're Boston fans. We know this time it happens. Yeah. We're used to disappointment. We're used to getting excited. Oh, and disappointed. Almost there, almost there. No, yep. So, we know it's either going to be either going to be really exciting, come back, mm-hmm. or we're just going to lose, and we take it. That's fine. We're not whiny about it. You know, some most of all, uh, but some people are. You listen to Boston Sports Radio. Oh, fire him! Fire this one! Trade off this guy. They're you already know. talking about firing uh, the, the Farrell. The, yeah. yeah, when they, if if they didn't make the uh, playoffs, oh, yeah. they should fire him. They, they said they, one of the thing I heard is because he he won that one game that might have saved his job because he won the other game the game the other night. Um, but then they want to get rid of Pedroia. Yeah, there's another oh, big fuck. one. He's, He's the longest term player right now, right? Right. Isn't well, I, but you know, you know, but oh, looking Coco at Chris. looking at that, Coco Chris doesn't play on the team. He's gone a long time ago. Long time ago. <laughs> sure. Yeah, Dustin Pedroia. He made the news His just recently. Batting average this year, two ninety three, is uh, is kind of up there. Yeah. For him, all right. He may didn't have a whole. Lot. He only played uh, one hundred and five games this year, opposed to usually like one hundred and fifty ish or whatever. Um, he did have a, a few injuries. But overall, um, even with the shortened season for him, he still produced numbers that are uh, normal or above normal for him. So he did fine. Yeah. And but he makes twelve and a half million a year. Good. Hey, good for him. But he to me he earned his keep. He's been there for how many years? So at all, Dad. Long enough. Yeah. I think it's time. Well, for him to start it, that, that means nothing today. You can be. You could have a twenty-five year career. Be at the Red Sox for twenty four and a kick you somewhere else for twenty five. Yeah, they don't give a shit. It could come down to play and dollars. Yeah, but Petroy has always been a solid player. Yes, and he and he was this year, and that's why I brought up the numbers because people are bitching. They need to get rid of him. He didn't, you know. He, yeah, no. So he if didn't, anybody you know, uh, he didn't have his best season, but he had, like I said, a normal, a mid range season for himself. So if there are any Dustin Pedroia fans out there, I have a Dustin Pedroia bat that's for sale, yep. autographed. Rookie. Uh, rookie, rookie year, yep. yeah, and so if you got uh, money. Uh, give us a show. Seventy years, yeah. 
You got money. Send them a message. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. Huber's in in the room, and uh, he's a Cubby fan and the Bears. So the Bears. He, he knows his disappointment very well, possibly <laughs> more than most. And I got to agree with you there, Huber. Well, now the, the comment, a couple of comments I saw as well, you know, thank God David David Price won the other night. He won that game. Uh, he finally he earned. Uh, I forget it's... how they said it. Uh, he he earned his keep for the year, and I strong I strongly disagree with that because he w- didn't have a very good season. He uh, no, he didn't. And he makes thirty million dollars a season. How the He's, fuck? Uh, well, he well, he started out. He, the contract was based as a starter pit, starting pitcher. He's a mid reliever now, so he. You know, he only he appeared in sixteen games. Okay, so I'm he probably I around. I, I don't even think it was like forty innings he played or something like that. I forget. So he, he barely played, um, and he had. Well, actually, he probably had to be more than that because he had seventy six strikeouts. He had a lot of strikeouts. His ERA at three thirty three point three eight was um, okay for him. He was probably in the middle of the range for all the pitchers in the Red Sox, so he was not a standout. Does to me, he does not earn thirty million dollars um, on a two hundred and seventeen million dollar contract. Wow, something like that. Yeah, and he's a mid reliever, you know. So uh, to me, that he needs to be fucking dumped. Yeah, uh, because he's taking up too much uh, contract space, too much money for uh, for middle reliever. So as well as he did, you know, he did okay as a middle reliever, but. A mid reliever is not worth thirty million dollars a year, uh, so yeah, he needs to fucking go. <laughs> That's just my two cents. Yep. But, All right, uh, we're gonna uh, we're we gonna got, take a break. We'll take a break, and we're gonna go. When we come back, we're gonna play. Uh, Are you smarter than a fifth grader? All right. Oh my God! Who the hell cares? Well, I mean, uh, some of the listeners who I challenge to find if you are smarter than a fifth grader. Uh, I challenge you guys to listen on and play along. Um, I do have to point something out that was disturbing. They went 20 in this video. No. She was dead now. Right. Yeah, she's legal now regardless. So it just doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, play the, that funky music, white boy. Yeah, I was going to ask, what do we want to play? Uh, we can play anything you want tonight. Oh. We want to keep people in the room, but. Yeah. Then uh, anybody want to hear? Do we want to hear Power Glide? Do we want to hear uh, the House Band Hard Number Nine? Do we want to hear uh, Empty Coffee Cups? I gotta go empty my bladder. Uh, we will play. Hold on, I gotta hear somewhere. I, like, I gotta. I gotta reorganize this shit. Scorched Earth by It Destroys and Kills. Yeah. I haven't one. heard them since... Uh, hard. This is hard, man. So All right, so turn down your radio just a little bit so that it doesn't destroy or kill you. Yep. We'll be back in a few minutes, folks. Wake up, protect this slum, Lord, Lord. 
that is Scorched Earth by Destroys and Kills. Oh, yeah, that was really a good... Softy. Dude, you gotta you gotta come back with with something a little bit more than that. Yes, yeah, you that was scorched to the Wake Up Earth. Show, and that was scorched oh, yeah, baby. Earth by well, it, it kinda, destroys. It, it was kills. such a slow ending. It was like by then I was just kind of half asleep. Well, You're just, just not right, are you? It was like you know the mellow. It was mellow at the end. It was a mellow out, right? So I came in mellow. Oh my God! Who the hell cares? Oh yada yada yada! You're insane. Not me. Uh huh. Boy, you might be legally retarded. Yes, yes, ah. you must be. All right, let me get my. Uh... We are. Are you ready to play? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Well, we're about to find out. Um. Oh, let's see, hold on. What are you looking for? Oh, you need the uh, <laughs> that would help. But uh, the chat room that would help. But I can do it. That's all right. Well, you only got one screen tonight. Oh. Definitely older than uh, eighteen. <laughs> there, there's no way. But hey, jailbait. She, she is older than eighteen. Three one four. And uh, sorry for getting uh, the hiccups here, but uh, you know, uh, we've that. got issue. Which which. Uh, which are you on? The Studio 5 or? Whatever one that was set on. I never changed it. I know. I don't 5 know 2. 5-2. Studio 5-2 or yeah. Penthouse? Uh, studio. Okay. Well, we're going to have to switch everything over to Penthouse for a little bit. i got to take oh, that uh, router offline. All right. We do have. So, uh, Ed, I went to a public school, so I stand almost no chance. Ah. <laughs> uh, I think I might do pretty good. I'm a little stupid there. Hey, there you. All right. There. Question number one here. What planet is closest to the sun? Oh, I know this one. So I'm just going to give a couple minutes, a moment, a moment here. Uh, yeah, exactly. Get a, I'll tap into my uh, Justin Johnson files with some background music in a moment. Really? You're going to... Because that'll drive people nuts after a couple <laughs> questions. Tiger Lily comes up with Earth. Late Night with Mr. Ed comes up with... Mercury. Well, I'm going to give that one to him. All right. Let's hello, see. hello. I am going to... We'll pull, up a little, we'll pull up a timer here, and uh, that way we'll do like, okay. how long do you think we should do for that? Like a, a minute and a half? A minute? Sure. Oh. So, that, uh, yeah. And so the question again, the question again, folks, is what planet is closest to the sun? And Mr. the answer, with- are you ready for the answer? Mercury. Oh, yes. That's right. Mercury is the answer, Mr. Ed. Excellent choice. One point for Ed. Oh. You better write that shit down. <laughs> yeah, you Mars. Yeah, you know what? Right there. Right there. there you go. You got, it's behind the... I didn't know the pen's dead. It's right behind the switcher, though. It's dead. Dead? What'd you do to it? It dried out. Oh, you son Dude, of these a are dollar bitch. store things. Give me the... Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Where the fuck the notepad go that I had? Oh, no, I got it. You, you would think this is like a 15-room studio. I can't find anything. Smart, well, fine. there's a lot of shit in here. Oh. I come prepared with a pen. The pen is penis mightier. Your paper? Oh, you got it. All right. Number two. Or, well, I don't know if I'm number. I'm just going to ask this. <laughs> there are how many? Yeah, you don't don't give them numbers because uh, kids today don't do well with uh, yeah, right. finite figures, absolutes. Trouble children nowadays. <laughs> there are how many Great Lakes, and the lake with the largest surface area is. So That's a not fair. Question. That's going up there. That's a two part question. There are how many Great Lakes, and the lake with the largest surface area is. And... 
Wait just a moment on that. Let me pull up a little Justin Johnson for the background here. Uh, Somebody's strumming uh, <laughs> the bass there. It's making my asshole vibrate. Well, you know, we get chat about nonsense stuff in between. Uh, again, that question, there are how many Great Lakes? And the lake with the largest surface area is... Answered all these questions right, so I. Yeah. So I got I got questions. If you run into trouble. All right, that is time is up, <laughs> and the answer. I thought my pizza was done. Sorry. Five Great Lakes, and Superior has the largest surface. So we're gonna. All right. So. That one? So Patty Cakes, Patty Cakes, Patty uh, Cakes came in with four, and Superior. Oh, not bad, close. Tiger Lily, five Superior buzzed in just before late night with this Mister Ed. So that's uh, that's Oops. one for Tiger Lily. All right, outstanding. Here, next question. In this game, everybody wins, though. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. We we give trophies. <laughs> a heptagon has how many sides? Okay, how do you spell that? Heptagon, H E P T A G O N. A hepatitis agon? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Think of hepa- hepatitis. H E P T A G O N. A heptagon. Just to let you guys know at home. How many sides? I don't have the answers either, so don't text me or, or <laughs> because uh, Bumpa took my uh, my cheat sheet. <laughs> right, we've got answers coming in here. Fast and furious. Well, about forty more seconds, and we'll, uh, we'll let those answers I mean, trickle in here. I mean, we got we got three answers and. And to me, I don't think any of them are right. Because let me, let me. Are we, are we done with the time yet? I'll wait. Well, the almost, time almost. Uh, again, that question is: a heptagon has how many sides? See, I can, uh, I can test my abilities here. The psychic abilities? No, 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 no. My, my, your, your, my wicked smart abilities. Your genius skills. Okay, you got a ding yet? All right. Give a uh, ding. Give a ding. You want the ding? Yeah. You need the ding? I need the ding. There we go. We spend so much money on these sound effects. I know. Okay, so first buzz in was Tiger Lily with seven. I'm sorry, seven is a Septagon. Uh, Late Night with Mr. Ed buzzed in with eight. That's an Octagon. Uh, Nine for Patty Cakes, and that's a Nonagon. So a Heptagon has seven sides. I thought it was a Septagon. No shit. Yep. Tiger Lily it is. And I'll pull on that up for sure? you. Are you sure? Yep. Heptagon. Sept. Oh, Sept may be six. Four and three. Four and top three and bottom, or however really you want to look at it. And that's what she said. <laughs> yeah, so a good one. Uh, whoever got that right, good for you. Uh, it's Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily, awesome. All right, All next right. one is going to be, how long is one regular term for a U.S. representative? <laughs> Life. <laughs> <laughs> how long is one regular term, one term, you know, one term in between <laughs> each election uh, that they have to do? How long is one regular term for oh, like, a U.S. representative? Like 30 minutes. These are each 30 seconds. Are we running 30 second timers? I was, well, I was doing uh, 50, 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Well, I like this song, anyways. I know, but I get sick after a few. Wow. 
Yeah, yeah I know. Wow. That's kind of distracting, I know. All right. So, so again, see. the question is, how long is one regular term for a U.S. representative? So we got uh, Late Night with Miss Red buzzed in, Patty Cakes buzzed in, and Tiger Lily is, uh All right, so what was the question again? How many terms, I'm uh, sorry, how many, how long, how is, long is one regular term for a U.S. representative? How okay. long is one term for a U.S. representative? So I think we have everybody in the room here. Yep. We're doing the math and it's coming okay. out wrong. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, you're right about that deal with the devil. That woman needs to go straight to hell. Her so, and her white outfit. You know, she's wearing white after Labor Day. Send her to hell. All right, the time is up, and it is two years. So the first person to buzz in was Late Night with Mr. Ed, closely followed by Patty Cakes. Tiger Lily came up with two years for senators. Uh, two years, and senators are six. And Patty Cakes, that was not porn music. That was Match <laughs> Game. Dirty 76. girl. Dirty girl. Um, and uh, Late Night with Mr. Red is correct. Nancy Pelosi did uh-huh. make a deal with the devil. <laughs> uh, the next question. What is the largest South American country by area? That's a tricky one. What is the largest South American country by area? I got a song here. Now, Mr. Eddie's always getting deported. He should know this. <laughs> what is the largest South American country by area? Since this is a tricky question, I'm going to go with a tricky song. If it ever starts. This speech is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock around. That's right, on top. Huh, 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 that's right, that's Run DMC with It's Tricky because it is the trickiest of the questions so far. What's that? Areola? And then. Is that it? Okay. All right, um, four. Seven zero four four. four four. Oh, it's the it's it's the it's the uh, obvious Brazil, Chile, oh, Brazil, Brazil. You're yeah. right. It See, was, I I thought that was a tricky one. I didn't know if it was going to be yeah, yeah. the biggest. Uh, I, Chile was first came to my mind. Chile, it, Chile's pretty damn long. It's, yeah, it's very long. But area. Argentina, I think, has more land mass, and I didn't know if they were counting including the islands oh. and all that shit. And they uh, also tried to claim Antarctica, too. Oh, well, here we go. The Grand Canyon is located in what state? The Grand Canyon is located in what state? Uh, that's a stupid question. You can't answer it. It's in several states. Starts at the Snake River Canyon and runs... Don't confuse the listeners. Do your research if you want. <laughs> oh wait a minute! No, we had uh, actually, uh, Patty Cakes was first on that one. Ooh. Sorry, there were just so many people buzzing in there, but uh, so Patty Cakes gets one. This is the magic fingers of Bumpo playing <laughs> fancy guitar. More girth. All right, that's the royal time. Royal? <laughs> that's what I'm calling it. Okay. Again, the question was, the Grand Canyon is located in what state? The answer is Arizona. All right, so first to buzz in was Tiger Lily with Colorado. Oh. Uh, and then uh, Late Night with Mr. Ed agreed with her, but he buzzed in third. <laughs> And Patty Cakes she said back? Arizona. That's for the first two. There you go. All right. I should just give this one. There you go. That's for Patty. 
Excellent score. Everyone's got two points. Two, two, two. All right. Next question. Oh, here we go. Oh, this Byron's already lost this one. Of these choices, what is the lowest prime number? Fuck you. <laughs> Zero, one, two. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? <laughs> of these choices, what is the lowest prime number? Zero, one, or two. I think I got it. I need to get a cowbell. <laughs> I do. Why? I got a fever for cowbell. Oh, God. Oh, since we're talking about music tonight. Yeah. Oh, so the prime number zero. Okay, one, I think we got a. I think we got all of the. Uh, got the answers from everyone. Yep. All righty then. The answer is two. Let's see, I, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Divisible into itself, I think. <laughs> but uh, let's see, we had. Uh, we got for answers. Does cleavage count? <laughs> that was uh, Petty Cakes with those cleavage count. <laughs> Motoring. All right, motor uh, we've got uh, first one motor in motor was uh, Tiger Lily with one. Late Night with Mr. Ed with one. And uh, Patty Cakes got Brazil. And cleavage does count. Okay, so overall... <laughs> Nobody gets anything on that one. All right. Not bad, though. Not bad. That was a, that was a tough question, especially uh, being out of school for so long. <laughs> Electrons have what kind of charge? Electrons have what kind of charge? I know this one. Oh! Byron. He's doing the, squ- the brain squints. No, well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a 50-50. The thirty-three percent. One out of three. I mean, technically, she was right because cleavage does count. That's two by default, and that was uh, Ed who came up with that. <laughs> oh, all right. So we so get the answers in. You got all the answers for electrons have what kind of charge? The answer is uh, well, negative. Oh. Like, huh? No, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, so we had Patty Cakes buzz in first with positive. <gasps> oh. Back of the line. Uh, late night with Mr. Ed. Also, a very positive guy. Oh. And Tiger Lily, this time being negative, paid off. Hey, look at that. He's got his finger right on a button there. <laughs> oh, excellent. Uh, patty cakes. I believe everybody in the room here is all about the cleavage. Are you really? I was looking at my lips. You uh, fucking drooled. I know, no. right? <laughs> well, you know, you talk about cleavage. I mean, what am I supposed I to do? I know, I did too. But, all right, so I got a song to play in this next one. And Okay. Okay, but. Uh, what force is responsible for the formation of waves? What force is responsible for the formation of waves? And I'm going to guess. Okay. So, you get. All got right. a little something about this song here to talk about. Some. But this song is going to play us through the uh, 50 seconds here. Yeah. Tiger Lily buzzed in. Again, what? Late night with Mr. Ed. And Petty Cakes is talking about gutter bumpers. <laughs> what force is responsible for the formation of waves? All right, Patty Cakes gets the cleavage pass. 
Uh, and we've got all the answers in. Oh, all right. If that's the case, we that's, can just... Yeah. Okay. So, before we give the answers, everybody out here... Actually, this isn't part of it, but you all know who that was and, and what the song was. Bumpa did not. Different generation, bro. Different generation, dude. All right. This is a generation. So, what do we got for... Uh, let's see. We have... Tiger Lily yep. came in just before Late Night with Mr. Ed with Gravity. And Inertia. Sorry. Next. Inertia. Oh. And you guessed this one right? The correct answer is Wind. Dude, your breath stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a, a zero all around. All right. Next one is simple. Oh, yeah. Energy that is stored in an object mm. is called what? Kinetic potential. Oh, sorry. Well, I, got to, I have to say it again. I messed up. Energy that is stored in an object is called what? Kinetic potential energy or intrinsic energy? I don't know the answer yet. I, I do. Looked. Energy that is stored in an object is called what? Kinetic, potential energy, or intrinsic intrinsic energy? I gotta go back to the song. I know. We've got late night with Mr. Ed buzzed in, Tiger Lily buzzed in, and uh, Patty Cakes. All of y'all have potential. Only one of you can get the point. All right. So are we ready for the, uh, for the big answer? I'd like to go right to it. All right. The answer. You want, want me to give you the answer? Yeah, go, go ahead. Potential See, energy. See, you were correct. I yes. was correct. I came out. I wrote it down real fast. Oh, yeah, for, before I finish the question. So, <laughs> late night with Mr. Red pops up. With pops up, sorry. I didn't mean that that way. I need to pop up. Whoa. <laughs> After that one, I need to shake myself off. Uh, so uh, what are the other answers? What do you got? Everybody had potential. Oh, well, everyone, all yeah, right. But late night with Mr. Ed. Slid oh. into the home plate first. Oh, outstanding. What a... Oh. Great job. The, uh... Ah, uh, she's um, asking hubby, who the, just friended me on Facebook today. Awesome. The Hoover Dam was built on what river? The Hoover Dam. They came for that, for those still thinking it over. Oh, the Hoover are. Dam was built on what river? A Hoover Dam. So we got two Hoover. answers in. Hoover? Yep, we got ten seconds left, folks. The Hoover Dam was built on what river? All right. And the answer you want what do you got for get what do you got for uh Well all responses? right, so we've got we've got two into Colorado. I believe Mr. Ed may have left the contest. Oh. Oh yeah, his, his show's starting his show's soon. starting soon, and we're ending soon. Mm-hmm. So you guys can filter right into Mister Ed's. We may call and harass him tonight. Yeah, yeah, baby. That's right. Uh, the answer is Colorado River. All right, so we have two right. correct answers. The first out of the gate, oh, is patty cakes. <whistles> Ouch. Sorry, too much of a whistle. Yeah. Uh, Crazy guy. Crazy guy. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, uh, she used to be blonde. Now she's pink. Head. 
a few questions left, but I'll try to be selective. Just pick a couple here. It was a good time. Uh, what is the capital of China? Ooh. What is the capital of China? And I know it's some countries and states, and it's always never. It's not always the obvious. Uh, I got a song for that. Oh yeah. Come on, get there, get there, get there. Please don't have a commercial before it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got a commercial. Son of a bitch. Uh, shout out to the uh, listeners in Poland. Uh, if you, when you listen to this, I know it's uh, like 3 a.m. right now out there. 3 or 4 a.m. So, yeah, if you do listen to this later. It's actually 3.49 Give me a holler. <laughs> uh, London's 249. Oh, all right. So this song right here, many of you may know. China by Red Rockers. Uh-huh. All right, the time is up. The answer is, we have answers there? We have one answer. Tiger Lily, are you going to uh, come in? Uh, okay, I think she's agreeing with Patty Cakes. Patty oh. Cakes came up with Beijing... Oh, all right, all right. And that's the correct answer. Hey, all right. Patty Cakes pulls ahead. Outstanding. And so means, what's the uh, score? What's the score? Uh, we got a... Uh, f- oh, shit. You want me to do math? It's got numbers here. Whoa. Whoa. I got... We've got uh, Mr. Ed. Is three. Tiger Lily. Tree. Oh, patty cakes. Four. Oh, I don't have an ooh. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. So wow. Know. Here we go. What is the part of your body called that flops down over your windpipe? Your penis. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what is the part of your body called that flops? Down over your windpipe when you swallow to keep food, food from gro- going into your lungs. You're such an ass. Oh. I am, but I'm quick with it. Oh. Right what is the part of your body call that flops down over your windpipe when you swallow to keep food from going into your lungs? Remember, people, it's just words. And this is Words by Missing Persons, a great band. Punching bag. <laughs> yep, yeah, late night with Mr. Ed uh, agrees with me. Tiger Lily agrees with me on both parts. Are you running music in the background? Yeah. Why? No, no, it's not background music. It's of dead. I had music playing. Well, good music. I know. That we you don't it. think it was. So, late night. With Mr. Ed made an official one with mine, and and he was, I mean, I, I was, I, I thought, you know, but. Oh, this thing's not picking up any music you're playing. Um, let's see. Yeah, it is. Ready? Hold on. Let me play it, and then. Can you hear that? Oh, now it is, yeah. yeah but, it was playing cool. before. You're just deaf as a fucking stone. It, it, it was nothing on here. Oh, nothing Zero. Nothing in your head. Zero. Yeah, there's nothing playing now. No, when you were playing, it was nothing. All right, anyway. There's nothing playing right here? <laughs> There's plenty playing now. See? Oh. Is it coming over? Yeah. Okay. All right. The answer, epiglottis. Oh. Everyone wrong? I am going to go on and just bust everybody out. Tiger Lily came up with the same answer I did. The uvula. Which I, I, I got to figure out what the uvula is. <laughs> Patty Cakes said esophagus. Uh, late night with Miss Dread. Penis. <laughs> All right. And Patty gonna... Cakes agrees with me. You are a little deaf. Uh, we're going to do two more questions. This is enough for someone to either to take tie or beat Patty, right? 
So two more questions, Ooh, and I, I'll, I'll have uh, <laughs> oh, I'll, I could do a third one uh, for a tiebreaker if need be. Next question: What's the big prize? <laughs> True or false? Okay, a turtle is an amphibian. True or false? A turtle is an amphibian. Hmm. And you know why I would do that? I'm breaking out these pumpkin spice Oreos. Fuck you. That, you know, uh, this is the uh, dollar, dollar. They were two bucks, so two dollars delicacy today. No. Grab one. No, no, no. No, no that, I don't like that. I stuff. don't give a fuck. It's beer and bad. Yeah, the beer and a, the perfect, the perfect to wash it down. No, hey, it won't. Hey, don't I, be chicken I can't, shit. I can't, no, I'm not chicken shit. I, that shit makes me sick. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Oh, a lot of shit we eat fucking makes us sick. The whole point. That? And it's such a yuppie fucking thing. That's the whole point. All right, see, I mean, the closest I could come up with for some sort of background noise is Godzilla. I mean, because you got... Oh, hey, quick quiz. What was the name of the turtle from Godzilla? Come on, you got to... Colonel Fuji? Oh, the turtle, not the colonel. Holy shit, you got pumpkin spice in your ears. Oh, mid-jump... Oh, wait, that was a good one. All right. True or false, a turtle is an amphibian. What do you got, Francis? Uh, false, T, and Gamera. But Gamera was right. Um, Gamera. Da, 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 da. Sorry. Uh, no one answered that question. <laughs> the answer is false. Oh, false. All right. What was the question? Oh, yeah, yeah. Turtle. It's false because it, it it holds its breath when it's underwater. Thank you, thank it, you for it, the visual demonstration. It, oh. <laughs> it was better than yours. Uh, uh, and fucking cookie my mouth that you won't eat, you asshole. No, I won't eat those. I fucking hate those. You eat some nasty shit that you're probably gonna puke out, but you won't oh, eat yeah. that. No, I won't. Pumpkin spice, I refuse. The Why? smell. All right, late night, Mr. Ed. They're actually not that bad. Uh, you, he's still got to do some setup, and uh, we'll uh, catch you uh, right yeah, after this. Absolutely, right man. after us, we'll make done. sure you tune in to late night with Mr. Ed on Spreaker.com. So the final question here, this can tie you up with patty cakes, and if you tie patty cakes, we'll do a tiebreaker. The Ooh, tying everybody up. Oh, I <laughs> I feel like a little tie up and a little, you know, a little spanking if you tie them up, right? Oh, yeah. Um, what is the official name of the North Star? What is That's easy. The official name of the North Star. Oh, let's see. So I'll go with, uh, hold on a second. I paid the fool. Come on, the mouse ain't moving fast enough. Again, what is the official name of the North Star? And... It's got something to do with space, so that's that's as close as I come to it. All right, I know. time's up. The answer. Okay, so who have we got? Okay, we got uh, Tiger Lily came in first, and he he he. I like to be tied up. Now that wasn't <laughs> Tiger Lily. That was Patty Cakes. Ha! Uh, she so don't know, and she <laughs> lost. Uh, and Tiger Lily came up with, with Polaris. There you go. And that is the correct answer. So we have a tie. No, we'll do it right now. Right now. You ready? I, I wanted people to come back and listen to us again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, well, we got this is an easy one. How many millimeters are in a centimeter? 
And if they don't, we don't break the tie, then we just carry it on to next week. How's that? I'm a. Uh, How many millimeters are in the centimeter? I, I'm more into the imperial measurement system than the metric. <laughs> I really am. I know how many inches in a foot. Millimeters in a fucking cylinder centimeter. Fuck you and your centimeters, okay? Fractions. That's what. That's where I started to fuck up. Yeah, they do it over the pond, yo. Wait a minute. You're not in last place, Tiger Lily. You got a. Uh, you're tied, right? Are they tied? You're, you're tied right now with uh with patty cakes. With patty cakes. You just tied it up there. So, uh, Patty Cakes, you're going to have to lock in an answer. We're going we're gonna to try one more time. What do we got? How many milli- millimeters in a centimeter? <laughs> How many millimeters in a centimeter? Yeah, fucking metric sucks. How many millimeters in a centimeter? All right. So, uh, Patty Cakes, what number do you want to go with? You've got 19, you've got 10. You go 19, 10? Or 19 or 10? Or, or another number? Pick any number between one and a million. <laughs> My money's on patty cakes on this one. You know, you know, you know. You've lost. Uh, well, okay. All right. So, I don't know. I, I got to go with with patty cakes. Uh, okay. Final answer is 10. She's locked in. Tiger Lily is dog. No, you're not dog. Oh, doe. Okay, that's what it was. Uh, Tiger Lily (laughs) says 100. And uh, Patty Cakes had actually said 10 first, so. Patty Cakes says 10? 10. Oh, my God. The answer is 10. So 10 you, millimeters in a centimeter. She can periscope tonight that she just won absolutely nothing. Well, don't we have her shots left here somewhere? Yeah, we can feed her her own shots. I mean, we'll just bring them back to her place. <laughs> It'll be one of those things. Oh, shot. Just a shot. Oh, oh my God. Who the hell cares? Ah. <laughs> awesome. So, Patty Cakes wins that. Uh, great job, Patty Cakes. Uh, but Tiger Lily, you did awesome. Kept right up there. You know, and I'm sure uh, Mr. Ed would have given them a run for the money, too. If he yeah, they got around. a little chuck on the shoulder there, kid. Yeah. Good job, kid. So, uh... Don't worry, we have a second-place trophy. I just <laughs> have ah. to find something to stick on a block of wood. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I can just picture that, too. Yeah, well, uh, you know... Like a fucking red solo cup fucking nailed onto a fucking piece of wood. I think that we should have a contest for coming some- up. I mean, we only have a few minutes left, right? Oh, we're out of Technically, time. We're out of time. Yeah. But I'm thinking uh, best guest co-host of well, the year. Yeah. We should Ooh. have people vote. Go back and listen to our past shows. Yeah. See what you like. Yeah, we could do that. We could list a uh, list of shows that have the guests. Yeah. Yep. There you go. We have to, uh, we have to add a couple more, though, before the end of the year. Uh, you know, give a good mix, right? Yeah, so. we do. Uh, maybe we get Tiger Lily in uh, soon. And I didn't even get my t- my trivia question in. Well, we can still do that. We can do that, brother. Well, no, I mean, it, it's, yeah. Okay. I I may want to save it for the next live show because that's that's okay. a trivia question that nobody will get. All right. Very few people know. All right. Until it's over, hey, you know what that means? We'll Closing. Closing. You don't want to do three hours? Okay. Now, this is two hours, folks. Uh, another great show. Guess uh, I went on a rant it. on the NFL in Vegas. Uh, more or less, I think we both did. Just the idiots don't. You gotta think. Just gotta think, people, before you fucking speak. All right. Well, it's show number 68. Really good show. 68. The next 10, show. 10, 17. This next show will be. Show number 70. Yep. Uh, show number 69. We had a premature 69. Yeah. <laughs> we, we prematurely had a 69. Um, that was the uh, Wicked Pizza Fest. Uh, the Black Dog Radio Show, the Wicked Pizza Fest, was our number 69. Uh, so we will not be having a 69. Um, patty cakes, that's up for negotiation. 
Um, uh, I'm just, hey, you, somebody puts that on there. I got to go after it. Right? Um, <laughs> but I try to run through all my sound. I paid billions of dollars for these sound effects. I got to use them. <laughs> the next show is actually show 70. All right. So uh, that'll be next week. Uh, when? 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 I don't even know. I'm going. Uh, oh, that's right. You. Yeah. I'm going to Maine. Traveling abroad. I'll be appearing uh, tomorrow night. No, Thursday night. Thursday night. You keep saying tomorrow. I'll be on Thursday night on a Turning Point. It's a special edition from a party somewhere. Oh boy, I don't even know yet. <laughs> ah, but hey, she lives sixty nine. So lo- love sixty nine. Uh huh. All right, guys, thank you uh, for another great show. Uh, thank you for participating in the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Uh, we know many people that don't chime into the chat room are still out there. But go ahead, man. If you guys are really us, what number are we thinking of? 69, dudes! <gasps> Sorry, nice. had to happen. Have a good night. The Wicked Pisser Show is not responsible for erections lasting more than four hours or for blindness from squirting semen. And stupidity is your own fucking fault, and if you get a late tonight or a blowjob, you're welcome. This awesome fucking show is a Studio 5 production. You ever get the feeling that everything in America is completely fucked up? 